Hello everyone and welcome to another redstone build. Behind me is an armor stand and a water stream going through cobwebs for the perfect timing to make potions. Now for those of you who want to get right down to it, this world download will be in the description for you to mess with and as well as a light medica schematic if you guys have the fabric mod so you can uh, use the schematic instead. Uh, for those of you who want to watch the video and see how this all works, uh, feel free to join me on that little adventure. I don't know if this will work in Bedrock. This is in Java. This is in Java 118. So I apologize to the Bedrock players. I'm not sure if this will actually work in Bedrock. I don't see why it wouldn't, but it may not. Okay, so we're going to be going in between this build and this build. This is just a broken down version. Again, you can see where all the main blocks are placed. Uh, all we're missing here is the water stream and the walls to hold the water in. And then also the double chest for the stock of the materials, as well as the light indicators for when we run out of materials. Other than that, they're the exact same. We have to trigger these manually. Um, yeah, we have to trigger these manually to get all the ingredients into the brewing stand. As it stands right now, we have a couple splash potions of weakness in the chest. We have one stuck in the hopper, which is expected. And we have the brewing stand, which has three water bottles that are prepped for brewing. Sweet. That happens when we run over this pressure plate. This pressure plate, first of all, makes three water bottles exactly. Uh, throws them down through this hopper into here. And while that happens, there's something else that goes on. There's pulse extender locks this hopper so that it can't take the water bottles quite yet. It allows this brewing stand to empty into this chest. And then the hopper, the hopper is unlocked and it allows the three water bottles to be prepped for brewing. This is, this is not only the first phase, this is also the last phase of the brewing process. Uh, the first ingredient to go in will be the fermented spider eye, which we will trigger here. And that will start brewing. Now that's the time it takes for the brewing for the armor stand to, to leave this pressure plate and go through the cobweb and hit the next pressure plate is it is almost it's within a second or two same time it takes for this to brew. Get our next ingredient in there, which is the gunpowder and so on and so forth. As you can see, this has been working around the clock into this chest a couple times already. So we started with a couple of them in here. Uh, we have, I don't even know how many this is, but we have quite a bit of splash potions of weakness. And right now we'll, we'll look at the timing. This is in the cobweb right now. This is over halfway done with the fermented spider eye brewing those water bottles. And we'll listen carefully for the sound and then see when it hits the pressure plate. There's the sound, one, two, next one. So the timing is pretty close. I didn't want to get the timing too, too close because I didn't want uh, to leave room for, you know, what if RNG let it hit it early, let it, the armor stand get released from the cobweb or whatever. So I gave it a second or two just to give that extra buffer to ensure that the brewing was done first before the next pressure plate got triggered. So right now we have a splash potion of weakness that is brewing with redstone to get the um, duration increased. And once this armor stand flies through this next pressure plate, we'll see this little pulse extender, how that works. Now we have three bottles in this brewing stand. They'll empty and it fills back up with three more water bottles. So we got water bottles here. We have splash potion of weakness. One of them stuck in here as expected and the rest of them go into here. So that is the machine. Again, you can do whatever you want up here. I mean, I, I recommend you do. Do what you want up here for the, how you want to keep these in stock, how you want to pipe them in with the uh, double chests or maybe barrels and hoppers. And then I do recommend having some sort of indicator saying, hey, we're out of this, we're out of, for example, blaze powder, we're out of fermented spider eyes, what have you. And then we also set up here, once this chest gets full, use this com these two comparators to trigger this little mini porch tower to extend this piston. So I'll just demo, demo that real quick. Once we get our next brew in here, it should trigger this piston 
to stop the brewing us uh, to stop the armor stand from continuing to make passes armor stand is way over here and we'll just, we'll just wait for that to finish but again uh world download will be in the, in the description as well as light matica schematic if you're using fabric and i do want to apologize again for the bedrock players if you play on bedrock um I would try this build out, try making something similar or make it better if you can. Um, I'm all for optimization and taking people's builds and making them better. Um, that's what Minecraft is all about, right? So this is going to trigger one last time. And there we go. We probably have two. I want to say we have two in, stuck in the hopper. Oh, we have three. Okay, cool. This is full. That's pretty well near full. And we've stopped making potions because that torch tower got triggered to turn on. So this, this armor stand will stay here either until a mine cart comes and picks us up. Not that we have that set up here. That's how, that's how we have a setup on our SMP is that mine carts will come grab potions and distribute them to our villager trading halls. Um, and, but if, if this, if the mine cart does not empty because the villager trading halls are full and this gets full, you don't want it to be continually uh, try to brew potions that'll mess up the machine. So yep, until this manually gets emptied or until you use them, then this will just be stuck here doing nothing, just waiting. So it does have an automatic shutoff and that's it. This is that this is not the only way you can do it. There's other ways to do it. This is the simplest one I can come up with just for demonstration purposes. So that is that. And again, we have water bottles prepped for when we do want to continue brewing. So they're already there in this build specifically you can stock these up you can stock this hopper as well as this barrel and this hopper up here with water bottles i would recommend leaving the hopper up top here empty and just keep these two stocked up just so you have extra water bottles again we have you know stock up here for all of all the materials and that's pretty much it i'm not going to be a dead horse uh this is probably starting to get kind of boring so that is the end of that video. Again, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, hit that bell, and subscribe. I much appreciate that. I do appreciate you all for watching. Again, I am Lunixia, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks.